Uh, hello and hui middag. This is Faye Morgana and I'm back with another Duolingo lesson. Um, I think I'm going to take a little break from the uh, from doing the Russian or Spanish speakers um, because I'd like to uh, review some Russian grammar on the side and and then get back to that at some uh, some other point. Uh, I was thinking a little bit about which language to do and thought maybe I'd go back to uh, the Arabic course. Now as you can see I've already done some of the Arabic course, uh, a little bit of the alphabet and a few of these skills. It got a little harder as I moved on. It got a little harder to read because I can't remember all the the, the writings. I don't remember the writing system very well. But anyways, I figure let's just give it another go and see how it works, how far I get. And then maybe after I'll have some time to do some, um, we'll uh, do a little bit of Russian grammar. Um, this is Russian, Russian, uh, you can see that, it's Russian grammar book I have. Well, it's not just a grammar book. I think it is colloquial Russian. And it's an old colloquial Russian. I don't think it's the same colloquial Russian that you can find these days. This one was published by Routledge. Routledge, Routledge. Um, uh, first published in 1973, revised 1978. Anyways, I picked this up some time ago at a used bookstore back in Toronto. And and um, it actually has some good lessons in it, so so I started reading it, and this is set, there's no audio, there's no audio to listen to, but there are like there are like little uh, dialogue uh, stories uh, in each lesson, and then they go over the grammar, and mostly grammar. They don't they don't really have cultural notes in this one really. I don't see any cultural notes. I like teach yourself books for the um, because they also add cultural notes sometimes, and it makes it more kind of interesting. But this one's a really good one. I think um, I think because it was published in the seventies, it was a little more academic than the uh, modern uh, language books that gets published these days. Um, so I started reading that a little while ago. I'm on lesson five in that book, so I'll try to read a little bit of that and see how long it takes to get through one lesson or not. So anyways, now, Duolingo Arabic, okay, family two, I don't know which, how many lessons are reading each skill, actually, let's just take a look at that, let me refresh that. Mm, family two, close one, or at home one, this is going to get tricky. Uh, oh, they all have five lessons each, all right, and Here's my tips and notes. Yeah, I know I was reading back to front. Uh, okay, we'll just do them in order then. Family two. And yeah, let's read the tips. Mr. T's little brothers. And you already know the difference between regular T and Mr. T. The vowels around Mr. T sound tougher, more serious and grave than they do around regular T. There are actually three more pairs like, uh, I can't remember which one's which. Uh, here, let's just have, uh, no, it's not Cindy. Uh, let's just have uh, Google Translate read the letters for me. Da, da. Da, da. Da, da. So it's like, ta, da. Uh, Da, da. I'm not gonna, that, that's a T and that's a T. They're both T's, I think. Okay, another pair is, uh, let's hear this one. I think that's, uh, then. Then, the. Another pair is the. And this one is. 
No. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is quite right. No. Um, and these two letters are similar, but the vowel is around uh, the, this one, or further back in the mouth. No. No. Uh. Wait, what is that? That? Why does it look like that? And this one's. Okay, so some examples are Warner or Harold. I pronounce it like Nadia. Nadia, I think. Nadia. 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 Okay, so not gonna that's this D this D Nadir 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 And this one is uh -huh. there's the difference right there. Not there. Not there. Yeah, the vowels do some further back. Not from. there. Not there. Not there. Let's try this. Copy. Alright, copy that. And translate. I want to hear the audio comparison. And next one. This might be a little painful and slow going until I get a lot better at the uh, Arabic script. <coughs> oh, whatever. Nazir 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 Making this painful Nazir 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 hmm. It's like I th actually think the vowel sound changes around the two different um, consonants there And they're just spelled the same way but the vowel sound sounds different actually Okay, so this uh, This a, yeah. yeah, that's what it's actually called. It's always pronounced like that. Okay, that becomes that. If you want to say that a city is my city or your city, something funky happens. <laughs> funky, really? Remember, city ends in. Medi. Medin. Medin. You make that into a a, uh, and then you s add the my or your endings. You already know. Like this is where I'm gonna get really confused about. <coughs> um. Yeah. So normally to say. A city, it's this one. Medin. Medin. But they write it with that A at the end. This is city. City ends in that. But then it'll change. Medin. I don't really pronounce the A. But then when you want to say my city, you say. Okay, that's not a back. Medinati. 
Madinati. 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 My city. Um. Okay, so there are changes to art. It changes to art, and then you add the my or your ending. So the uh, e, my ending is the e, and the ak is the your ending, and the ik is the other your ending. If you, it depends on who you're talking to, not who you are. So you know how, like in some languages, you adjust the uh, like Spanish or something, right? You know, woman, uh, woman would put an a at the end of some words. And men, men would put no at the some words like in, encantada, because uh, I'm a female. I say encantada. If you're a male in Spanish, you say encantado. But in in Arabic, it depends on who you're talking to. So, so if I'm female and I'm talking to a female, I say this one. Use this ending. And if I'm talking to a male, I use that ending. Not sure. Not sure why that convention exists. I wonder why. I'm not sure. Maybe because the focus is on the other person and who they are rather than on who you are. Just saying, wondering culturally why there's a difference that way. Medinata. Medinata. I wonder if it's just more polite because then you're actually thinking about the other person more because you're showing that you're thinking about them in that way and that context is good with the language that way. Medinata. So this means your city. So if I was talking about somebody's city and I was talking to a male person, I'd say your city, I'd say Medina I guess, I don't know how to say beautiful, but if you want to say something like your city is beautiful, Medina something, word order. I don't remember a lot of Arabic. <laughs> Still learning. Madinatik. 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 Okay. This doesn't apply just to city, but to all nouns that end in a. That's a a sound. Uh, so they have this one. A female neighbor is. This actually means a female neighbor. Jaraton. Uh. Jaraton. Why is she saying that? Me. Okay, so that should be ja, jara or something. I don't know why the pronunciation they're giving me is, is different than what they're uh, writing here. Jarati. 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 Okay, that's my female neighbor. And your female neighbor, when you're talking to a male, Jaratak. Jaratak. And your female neighbor, when you're talking to a female. Jaratak. Jaratak. <coughs> okay, what's whose? As you know, each Arabic noun is either masculine or feminine, and adjectives have to match that gender. Yeah. Okay. The house is pretty. Uh, uh, the house is pretty masculine now because house is masculine. So pretty, uh, yeah, it has to be, has to match the masculine noun. Uh, wait, wh why do you think that's Irish? That's funny. Albeit Jamil. Albeit Jamil. Albeit Jamil. And this one is. The city is pretty. Al Medin Jamila. Al Medin Jamila. <coughs> there we go. Al Medin Jamila. And I guess if you want to say your city is pretty, you wouldn't say Al Medin. You'd say. You'd say something like, okay, so your city is pretty. Uh, 
to a male, your city to a male is Medina Tak and Jamila. Oh yeah, that's right, Jamila. Um, it's a, I guess I think that was a common Arabic name for woman because it means pretty, right, or beautiful. So, Al Madin Jamila. Al Madin Jamila. Okay, the city is pretty. Okay, this gender never changes since, since uh, which one are we looking at? Yeah, since uh, bite. It's bite. Bay. Bay. It's masculine, it remains masculine, even if the person who owns it is a woman. The same is true for feminine nouns. Person being spoken to. <coughs> oh, they're giving us here for us then. Yeah, okay. So, oh yeah, I was trying to figure that out earlier. So if you're uh, talking to a male, you're trying to say your city is perfect, pretty. Medina Tak Jamila. Yay, I figured that one out. That's a little progress or something I probably should have. Medina Tak Jamila. Medina Tak Medina Tak Jamila. Medina Tak Jamila. And so your house is pretty to a male. Bait Tak Jamila. Yeah, you can see how the ending changes on that. Bait Tak Jamila, actually. No law. Baitak Jamil. Baitak Jamil. And Medina Tak Jamila. Medina Tak Jamila. And so the females you say your house is pretty, then you say Baitik Jamil. Oops. That didn't work very well, did it? Baitik Jamil. Baitik Jamil. And your city is pretty. Saying that to a female. Medina Tik Jamila. Medina Tik Jamila. So it seems like, um, yeah, feminine nouns and then talking to a female person to get the most kind of like change because you add this and you add this. Well, actually, just the no, feminine nouns have the most change. The tak, uh, tik, and uh, there. A house will always be light, and the city will always be my din, regardless of whose it is, though. Jamil. Jamil. House will always be. Oh yeah, yeah. House will always be pretty. Yeah. Jamil. That won't change regardless of whose house it is. Oh, but yeah, this kind of got written weird. <laughs> That's how it's... Ah, oh, this got written, broken up weird. That's what's going on there. This will always be Jamil, pretty. This is pretty. And city will always be in Jamila, regardless of whose it is. Jamila. Yeah, but it changes according to what noun it is. Okay, let's do a lesson. Lakob. Ah. Lakob. La. Lakob. 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 Turn that be wrong. Oh, okay, that's right. Lakob. Kit. 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 What is this one? Is that, that sound is very much like a K, but it's further back in the throat. It actually feels deeper in the throat. <coughs> Jamil. 
لطب لظب 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 Yeah, that's the difference. The other one was the T and this one's the D, I think. Lovub. 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 Oh. Or how she T. Lovub. No. No. Parashkan. V, v, v. It's that one. Kit, kit, kit. I see it. That they thought makes it that D H one. لطب لطب قذ 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 I don't like what I think it should sound, but... Okay. Ah, uh, here's this one. Quiv. V. 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 It's this one. V. 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 T. 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 What? She's saying it shorter. I think it's that one. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a long A. Sorry, the transcription's wrong. It's not a long A. It's a short A. So it was this one. I was confused. They're doing, uh, if it's a long A, they put two A's. Good. 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 Laptop. 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 It's that one. Laptop. V. I want to look up. I wish I just want to briefly look up. To see their normal T that they taught me earlier, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, English letters, Arabic letters. Which one's the small T that the, the transcribing it as a small T? I can't remember what it looks like right now. Uh, <coughs> yeah, we got this one. Sleep, mouth, sleep, mouth, tooth, sleep, mouth, tooth, mother, mouth, sleep, mouth, tooth, mouth, 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 sleep. <coughs> Where's the tea that we're talking about? Uh, 
Yeah, family one. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's that normal. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, the normal T is this thing with two dots over it. It's to the top. Probably mm, this person too. Uh, yeah. That's the normal T sound. Okay, uh, T consonant. Okay. <coughs> so look at the correct characters for the la 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 I think there should be something like kiv, 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 kiv. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now this one's a long A. So I said it's got to be this. Is it a long A? Is it a double A there? Okay, and this one's this. Hula? 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 Okay. Yes, I've been working hard too. Well, thank you. Uh. Match the pairs. Okay, so this is really tricky because it's hard for me to see these small little things on the top. <sighs> Sorry, people. This might help me, but. Uh, and. And. This one's top. Let Bob. Over. Okay, next. Give me back there. Suck the characters. Click. <coughs> okay. Match the pairs again. Uh, Let Bob. Uh -huh. What's this one? Okay. And this one is... Hold on. Click. For some reason I remember that cube. Oh. Okay, next one. Ta, 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 ta. This is... Hold on. Ta, ta, ta. Ba, now we got the ba. Ba. Okay, we are done one lesson. I was mostly just learning more of the writing. That was good. And, okay, maybe I'll do another one. Um, Try the next one. Jadi fi baiti. Oh no, 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 I'm gonna screw up a lot. So. <laughs> uh, Jadi fi baiti. Jadi. 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 It's my grandfather. Jadi. Jadi. Fi. Baiti. Jadi. Fi. Fi. Baiti. Baiti. Jadi. Fi. Baiti. Uh, so my my grandma my grandfather Jadi fi baiti my house my grandfather is in my house I don't think they use the present tense to be here in Arabic 
Jadi, fi, beiti. Might be that's what might be a commonality between Arabic and Russian. They don't use the present tense of to be. Let's see, to be. Uh, no. Okay, it's not in there somewhere. I don't know. Continue. Jadi wa jaddatay. Jadi. Jadi, my grandfather. Jadi wa jaddatay. My grandfather and. Wa jaddati. Jadi wa jaddatay. Wa jaddati. Wa jaddati. Jadi wa jaddatay. Wa jaddati. So my Jadi. grandfather and Wajadati. my grandfather and my grandmother. Normally in English we'd say my grandfather, wait, my grandfather and grandmother. We'd probably say that in English, but because we're learning that Wajadati. the Arabic hair has my on both of Jadi. them. Jadi. Yeah, write both of them in. Jadati <laughs> muhasiba. Yeah, I can't write Arabic right now. <laughs> Jaddati muhasiba. Jaddati muhasiba. Okay, let's see that. Jaddati muhasiba. Okay, let's see. Jaddati muhasiba. Oh, stop doing that. Jaddati muhasiba. Okay. Jaddati muhasiba. Apparently, control space and, and Duolingo makes them repeat. Jaddati muhasiba. <laughs> stop. I don't want you to repeat. I want to go to see if I have a. Jaddati muhasiba. I want to see if I have an Arabic keyboard. There we go. I use control space for my Arabic to switch keyboards, and I want to see if I have an Arabic keyboard, but she just keeps repeating. That's too funny. Google. Uh, was. Oh, that's what you mean, so. Uh, no. Uh, oh, that's Sanskrit. Okay, I don't have Arabic on here. Let me just add some Arabic. Oh, no, I do have Arabic. Oh, I have the translit one. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Translates the Arabic one and the Haruki Otsos for Sanskrit. So, yeah. Let's switch that to Arabic. Let's see. Jaddati muhasiba. Jaddati muhasiba. Jaddati. Muhasiba Jaddati Jaddati Muhasiba Jaddati Muhasiba Muhasiba That's what I think it is. I have no idea how to type this because I don't remember. It's going to be pretty tricky. I don't, this doesn't seem right. Okay, that doesn't seem right for my keyboard. I don't know. I think. Did I not switch it to Arabic? There we go. Um, I don't remember where the... <laughs> uh, okay, that is, that is working. I just don't know how... I don't remember where the letters are. I learned a little bit of the keyboard some time ago, and I don't remember where this letter is. Wait, why are you switching that? <laughs> I didn't get it wrong because I don't know how to type Arabic. Wait, why is that? Oh, you know what? Do I not want the translate keyboard? <laughs> okay, uh, let's add it. <laughs> let's see. I think it might not have been the keyboard I was using. Okay, let's try. Add Arabic. Is it this one? Uh, Arabic, Arabic, yeah. Um, where are you? Arabic, Arabic. Okay. Uh, no. Fun. That's what I want. Oh, uh, what's going on? Why is it typing in English? Ay, ay, ay. Why are you typing? 
with me. No, it's not working. What? So maybe I did switch to a translate. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have to figure this out later. Jadetti Mohasiba. Jadetti Mohasiba. Bin to a jadda. Bin to a jadda. Bin. Wajadda. Bin. Bin to a girl. Bin. Huh? Yes. Oh, so you're telling me I'm right? Yes. You remember? Bint, bint wa jadda. Yeah, they didn't give me a hover over tip, so thank you, Nate. <laughs> Not that he speaks Arabic. He doesn't. He only learns some stuff. Bint wa jadda. So what's a boy again? Mm. <laughs> Indeed a boy. Huh? That's an important word. <laughs> Arabic speaker. <laughs> yes, he, he his other girl. He dated an Arabic girl before, an Arabic speaking speaker before. <laughs> Bint wa jadda. Jad wa jadda. Jad wa jadda. Jad wa jadda. Jad wa jadda. Okay, yeah, this wa sound right there? Um, and it means and and it gets tacked onto the next word so i know this means something and something but jed jed oh jed jed jedi oh yeah jedi means my grandfather and jed is grandfather so so this would be a grandfather wajadda and a grandmother a grandfather and a grandmother jed wajadda jed wajadda jed wajadda Jed. So, Jed. Jed is basically your grandfather, and Jedda is your grandmother because it has the A at the end. Wajedda. Zawji Zayd Wajeddi Mahmoud. Zawji Zayd Wajeddi Mahmoud. That's too much Arabic for me to try and pronounce. Zawji Zayd Wajeddi Mahmoud. Zawji. Zawji. Oh, yeah. My husband, Zoji. Zaid. Zaid. So, my husband, Zaid. Wajadi. Wajadi. Yeah, and my, and my grandfather. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Oh, those are just names. Mahmoud. 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 I guess they have to pronounce it Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Zawji Zayd wa Jaddi Mahmoud. So my grand... No, my husband Zawji. 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 My husband and my... Oh, no. Forgot the names. My husband Zayd and my grandfather. Wa Jaddi. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. My husband Zaid and my grandfather Muhammad. Zawja wa Zawja. 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 Wa Zawja. Zawja. Wa Zawja. 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 A wife and a wife. <laughs> I guess you can say that. Next. Binti wa zawjati. Binti wa zawjati. So that binti was probably my wife. Wa zawjati. Wa zawjati. Wa zawjati. Why is there no hover over? Wa zawjati. Wa zawjati. So my wife and my, it's probably son or daughter. Wa zawjati. Wa zawjati. Okay, there's no hover over. Wa zawjati. 
There should be a hover over. Okay, let's end my. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Vinti. Oh, sorry. My daughter and my wife. Vinti means girl, so maybe. Vint means girl. Vinti so is my daughter. Okay. My daughter and my wife. Wazaujati. Zaujati. Okay. My daughter and my wife. Yeah, they really need more hoverovers. Walad Wajad. Wala. Walad. Walad. Walad Wajad. Wajad. Walad. A boy Wajad. and a grandfather. A boy and a grandfather. Walad Wajad. Okay, check. Zawji Mahmoud. Zawji. Mahmoud. Zawji. Boy is Walad. Zawji. Zawji. Zawj is husband and Zawji is my husband. My. Yeah, my husband. Zawji. Zawji. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. My husband, Mahmoud. Zawji. Mahmoud. Zawj wa Zawja. Zawj. 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 Zawji is my and Zawj. His husband. And notice the cha the change in Zouj. how they write it here. So because they add e after that, this this consonant is written differently. Wazauja, zauj, wazauja. A husband and a wife. Zauj. This probably means a husband. Wazauja. They left the hover over off again. Wazauja, wazauja. And I can't seem to. Wazauja. Wife, a husband, and a wife. Zauj wazauja. Zauj wazauja. So zauj and zauja, right? Jaddati samiya. Jaddati. 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 Yeah, Zedda and then T, my grandmother. Zeddati, Samia. My grandmother, Samia. 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 Zeddati, Samia. Zeddati. Ibni Omar wa Zawji Mahmoud. That's a long one. Ibni Omar wa Zawji Mahmoud. Ibni Omar wa Zawji Mahmoud. Ibni. Ibni. My son. Omar. Wa Zawji. And my husband. Zawj. And then. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. So my son Omar and my husband Mahmoud. Ibni Omar wa Zawji Mahmoud. Ibni. 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 My son. Ibni. Ibni. Ibn? Oh, because I think Ibn. 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 Oh, why am I? Oh, I'm just talking in Arabic. <laughs> it's such a back to English. Ibni. Ah. Uh, it means son. Ib Ibn. It means son, I think. So, Ibni. Omar. Omar. Ibni Omar wa Zawji Mahmoud. Okay. Next. Jed. 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 Then, uh, a grandfather. Next. Walad wa Jadda. Walad wa Jadda. Walad wa Jadda. A boy and a... Wa Jadda. A grandmother. Walad wa Jadda. Walad wa Jadda. Wa Jadda. Jadda. So, uh, it's hard for me to remember Arabic vocabulary because the words just don't ring a bell anywhere. Like, uh, there's no cognate for me to like link them to. <laughs> mm. A wife and a wife. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
زوجة زوجة وزوجة زوجة زوجة a wife and a wife okay my wife زوج زوجتي زوج زوجة oh yeah I have had the tea زوجتي 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 رانيا 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 did that one Okay, so those two Arabic lessons. I don't know how long I've been doing this. Yeah, about 46 minutes. That's not too bad. Continue. And continue. So that was two in the family, too. So there's three more lessons left in that skill. And um, just quickly, I want to do this. Just review my Arabic letters. <coughs> okay. So you'll see here the way this person designed their course is uh, these are the alphabet. He shows the alphabet the way they, the letters normally look. And then you'll see that some of them are written differently when they're initial, in the middle, or the end. And I guess usually the middle is the same as the standard. It's always like the initial or end that's different. So let me try to review this. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, that's not right. Uh, oh, they want me to type that whole thing. That's why. Um, okay. Uh, they want me to type that because. No, this is Hamza. Yeah, they want Hamza. me to type it. Hamza. Uh, uh, no? Uh, uh, they're using a capital T here. That's going to get confusing. If you're using a cup of tea for that one, that's going to get confusing because it's not. That's not what Duolingo is using. And this one, they're doing two T's. Oh, I think they just capitalized everything in this one here, so. Alif. The. Most of this is just me forgetting how they organize their course on top of things, on top of everything else. But the reason I like doing this one is because I like him. I like the pronunciation for the vowel, for the letters. Zai. Zai. Nope. Then. Ah. Oh. 
This one's definitely an S, but I forget what they call it. Scene. Single and initial. Zay. Mm -mm, that's confusing because that's not what they were showing me before, so. <laughs> Del. Del. She. Zay single is not initial so that's what's going on. Look at that. It's confusing me. Okay, yeah, okay, fine. Um single initial single single single. This one. These are all single, though. Oh, so The way they sky romanized it is different than what they're doing on Duolingo, so it's confusing me right now. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe we just practice this. <laughs> um, let's do this. <coughs> Ra. Roy. Roy. Dead. D D D I wish they did D Look for this, are they actually showing me what it looks like in Arabic? D D D They're not showing me what it looks like in Arabic, it would help if it did Roy Roy Ri Ri A A A A A D D uh, th That means the, the line above it means a short A. The D is just this part. So, okay. Ri uh, Ri Ri yeah. Yeah. Short A. Ra. 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 Match the pairs. Okay. We. 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 This one's La. We. Wait, what? No. This one's We. 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 Why is she saying it like We? Uh, that one's a La. Rao. Rao. And this one's Rai. Rai. Oh no, this one's the wa. Yeah, this one's the short A. What? We? And she says we for that, but it's a wa. Ah. 
they're doing their best to confuse the hell out of me with the Arabic here because they like Romanize it differently depending on who you learn from and then they they're pronouncing it slightly differently than what you would expect So there's no consistency Yeah, yeah um, Match the pairs so this should be Ra. Ra. Yeah. And this one should be a short one. Ra. Ra. And this one is Ri. Ri. And this one should be the Daur. Why is she saying it like Daur? Because we learned that that's an U sound. Daur. Daur. Rood. Okay, see, there's that, that, ru, u, d, that makes sense, but this one, she says it, daur, daur, instead of dur, 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 daur, This is going to be painful. No, it's going to allow me to like hide it. Daur. Dauron. Dauron. And she's saying Dauron. I don't understand why they say Dauron. <laughs> why are they giving me such. T oh, this is helpful. Maybe I can learn my Arabic keyboard this way. That looks familiar to what I remember learning for my keyboard. So why, why do I have a different keyboard? <laughs> Why is this one not work? Oh, that one doesn't work. And translate is the translate one, which is really annoying. So, why is it? So, the Arabic one is not working. Okay. Um. Let's see if I just totally screwed up my keyboard settings here. There. This is the Arabic. Okay, yeah, that Arabic keyboard looks like the one I learned. So why is the one and the other? I don't know. Oh no, that is the D. And then the words they are. No, that's not the R. Wait, what's this? Zur. Oh, that is the R. But I, uh, uh, the D is maybe is it this one? Uh, there we go. Dauron. Dauron. Why does she pronounce? it like that and it doesn't sound like what's supposed to be <laughs> Damn it. ok 
Okay. Come on, the English keyboard, right? Or not? Oh, the wrong one. So it's just keyboard. Um, Forvo.com. Pronunciation. Type in this word. Pixie? Is she hungry? Whatever makes Kitty happy. Copy that. Why does she pronounce it that way? I swear. I'll just search. Persian, Arabic, Arabic. I want Arabic right now. We um, have just that word? No, I guess not. Dawr al Botula. Dawr al Botula. Sudurahum. Dawr Sharukin. Mudawar. Dawr al Ard. Dawr Sharukin. The thing by itself is pending pronunciation. Pronunciation. All right. Okay, next. Rao. 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 Yeah. 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 When she says that as yeah, I mean, it's, it's an E sound. And sometimes it's used as a Y, and that means it gives, it gives it an A sound. But she says it more like yeah instead of yeah. Whoa, yeah. But you know, you know what makes Arabic hard is that they romanize it so strangely that it doesn't sound. <laughs> the romanization doesn't match what what you're expecting, what you're hearing. It's like, why are you putting an A when it sounds like yeah? <laughs> I think it's because they're trying to they're trying to f romanize it and try to be consistent in the romanization, but but the pronunciation isn't consistent. Oh, it makes it hard. Dead, dead, dead. Okay, let me do that one. Continue. I don't know what that did for me. Um, Alrighty. I'm gonna try to figure out why my other keyboard wasn't set up earlier. Yeah, that's strange. I thought I was using the Arabic keyboard with this other, with Ibis keyboard, but I guess not. It doesn't seem to be working right. I'm gonna have to remove that because that's not. Right one. I don't, I don't understand where one is working and where one isn't. I'm just going to move this one. Move that. Cause I don't know oh why it's not working. No. What's this? No preferences. Probably because Ibis is better for the Asian stuff. Okay. But I think on the on the normal the Linux keyboard layout, I can only add a certain number. Of, um, I can only add a certain number of layouts before it tells me. I think there were, like the maximum might have been five. Oh no, 
that is my maximum. I can't add more than like four here. I got the English, Russian, Greek, Arabic. It's a pain because I had Turkish. Or because I had Turkish as well at some point, but maybe I can add Turkish on this one. Input method. It's also possible I need to restart iBus to make it work. But actually, let's do that. Um, I'll add that Arabic one back in and then restart my iBus and see if it actually works in. This one. We'll put it started properly. I don't know. Alright, plus are you gone now or something? Where are you? Okay, there it is. Ah, there we go. Okay, so just wanna see. No, it's still typing. This works. I know this works, but wait, why is my Hangul not working? Bus, why are you not working properly? There you go. I forget. Need, uh, all right. Okay, Korean working. So why Arabic not working? I'm not in. I'm not using Korean anymore. What the hell? It should be the Arabic keyboard now, but it's not. How's the Turkish then? Not working either. I don't know. Okay, no. I can fix that later when I get around to it. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. So, I said some. So, that was my Duolingo lesson. Uh, two Duolingo lessons in Arab in the Arabic course, and in a little bit of uh, review. So, well, I said there was Russian, my Russian grammar book. This is going to be painful. I'm sorry for mispronouncing Russian words. Um, so I'm on lesson five. This is my book. Uh, Uruk. So lesson five is Uro Piatti. Piatti. So, so it starts off with, I guess we're having the text here is a dialogue. Razgovor bes konsa. Razgovor bes konsa. Without N. Mr. Norris. Stras Voicha. Zaharov, what does Zaharov mean? <laughs> Zaharov, Alexei Petrovich, Petrovich, Alex, Alexei, Alex, sorry, Alexei 
Petrovich. Zaharov. Zaharov. Okay, so let's just go to Google Translate. I don't have to flip pages like crazy. And click that. Zaharov. Let's switch to my Russian keyboard. Zaharov. Zaharov. Put my book down. Uh, right? Oh, no. Uh, say Zaharo. Uh, so is, is that someone's name? Zaharo. Yeah, that's someone's na last name then. Zaharov. Alexei Petrovich. Predstavitya. Okay, so text is. Predstavitya. Ministerstva. Torkovli. Ah. Okay, so Fritz de Vitil is a representative and minister. Wait, they spelled it differently. <laughs> in the actual text, they spell it as an A, and in the words and phrases section, they spell it with an O at the end. Minister of the. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Torkov. Torkov. Anyways, so that's the Minister of Trade. And. Tovarish Zaharov Zaharov Strechayet Na Vokzala Anglitanka Okay Tovarish is a comrade Zaharov and he is meeting Na Vokzala of Uppsala at the station Angli Tanina Angli Angli Tanina Pietro Norisa Directora Filmi Per Perkins. 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 And. Sons. Na. Manchester. Okay. So. Try to understand what they're reading here. Uh. This is director, yeah, director film is director from, okay, whatever, and then there's a bunch of, he's a director of some film, oh, okay, Perkins, uh, Sons, he's, Manchester. okay, I need to turn on the light. <laughs> Okay, uh, he's uh, 
director film director of the firm some firm per Perkins and I uh, was some film he's a director of a firm called Perkins in sense he's met from Manchester Perkins son sorry yeah sons thank you <laughs> Nate's making fun of me. But they don't spell it like sons. They spell it with an A. That's because they're trying to learn <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I guess our, our short O in English is like an A in Russian. Ivigovorita po Ruski. I can say that. <laughs> Do you speak Russian? Spraživayet <laughs> tov. What's tov? Sparashvaya is like ask. What's tov? What's the tov? Tov. It just says tov. What the hell? That's um. So comrade. It's short for comrade. Tovarish. Okay. Uh. So and then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. They put a period there. Sparajivaya tov zahrov. Govorita medlina pojalista. Yeah. Govorita medlina pojalista. Speak slowly, please. Ya panamai poruski no yizho ploho govru. I understand Russian, but. Yizho. What? Ploho. Uh, not ploha. Wait, where's the stress? Ploha. What's ploha? Nay, smartass. What's mm -hmm. ploha? <laughs> yeah, in Russian. No, usual ploha govru. Yeah. Oh, badly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so do you speak Russian? Uh, comrade Zaharov asks, and this person replies, Speak slowly, please. I understand Russian, but speak Yisho. No Yisho. Ploha Govru. Yisho. Right? I thought Yisho means like already. Also, yeah, I think. Yeah, so then he, but he's saying he speaks it badly. He's like, he's like, I understand Russian, but wouldn't it be only? Yeah, like, still. Yeah, it seems weird in this context. No, you should plaha govru, but yet badly. Sp I no, I speak it's it. No, still. He still speaks it badly. Oh, okay, okay, still, okay. Um, how to show yeah. Uh, Swazim, 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 what's Swazim? Swazim, completely, yeah, Swazim, ne may govrit pongliski, um, net. Swazim means completely, so the guy says, good, yeah, I really don't. I don't know nas jest perevocek. Perevocek is probably a translator. Yeah, yeah, so this, so then Comrade Zaharov says, uh, good, I, he's basically saying, I can't speak, I can't completely speak English. But we have translator. Vote on. Uh, here he is. Cousin Mikhail Pavlovich. Cousin. So, uh, so here's our translator. The guy's name is Mikhail Pavlovich. Cousin. If I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, and they, I guess they introduce people by introducing them by their last name first, and then the first name and their 
and patronymic, which is their middle name. On on Otlichna Govorit Pungliski. So he probably speaks it really well. <laughs> yeah. So Otlichna means excellent is what they're saying here. So he speaks English excellently. And Zdras Vojcha Govorit Noris. Oh yeah, so this is uh, Noris. So Zdrastoitsha, hello, uh, says Noris, Norris. In English we say his name would be Norris. Yeah, 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 Nor Norris. Ochenrad, Ochenrad, what does Ochenrad mean again, Nate? Very happy. Rad? Mm -hmm. He's happy? Okay. Mm -hmm. So he says, oh, so I guess that's just like saying, pleased to meet you. Otenrad, no viznayet. But you know, ya ochen dublu govorit poruski. But as you know, I really like to speak Russian. Atoma umenya tak mala vosmoznosta. Oh, I don't know the last word. Mala. 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 Yeah, at home I have. Tak. Tak. Mala. Vosmoz. Nosti. Vosmoz. Vosmoz. Nosti. So little opportunity. So he has a little opportunity. Very little opportunity at home to speak Russian. That's true for everyone, you know, when they try to learn a language. Yes, we ne vos vosra vos vosra shite. Yes, we ne vos shite. Me mojum govrit bes perivotica perivotica perivotica. Yes, if we ne. So it's like if we have no problem, if you do not eat, uh, oh okay. Yes, we ne vosrajaita. If you do not object, me mojem govrit bes. Yeah. So I think he wants to speak without an interpreter. Yeah. If you don't object, we could talk without an interpreter. Da, Mr. Norris. Yes, Mr. Norris. Govorit, cousin. Uh, ja, vijo, što mi možete pradažat razgovor bez mnja. Um, I see that we can pra pra Protojat, proto, proto. Where is that? I thought I learned that word already. Yes, protojat. The has been to continue without me. That's what I thought. So yeah. So the ter the translator says, yeah, I see that. Uh, oh, actually, he says, yeah, I see that you can continue. Um, the razgovar is a conversation. Can continue. In conversation without me, Besmanya, without me, Uvas, to peach Naya, the Gent Dilmena Skronost. What? <laughs> Uvas, yeah, you have. Uh, What? Typical. Peach Naya is like typical, right? Uh, the gentleman. Oh, you have typical gentleman. <laughs> what? Modesty? The Govorita. Svododin. Poruski, who speak uh, 
completely fluent Russian. Только я теперь без работы. Только я теперь. Was Toka again? Toka. Toka. <coughs> Only. Only uh, to pair. Here is now. Mm hmm. Now. Well, it doesn't make sense then. Toka ya to pair bes raboti. Raboti, raboti. Uh, only I now work. No, eto unas ne problema. Okay, uh, I don't. I guess he's saying I only work now, but. But we have no problem. This does I guess the yeah. Okay, so the translator is going away. Tovarish is a hana. I feel like I don't pronounce that word right. Tavarish. Tavarish. Tavarish Zakharov. He missed the Norris. He did see Voxala. Good Kostnitsa. Voxala. Voxala. From the station. That's. Uh, Oh, to uh, Gostanitsu's uh, hotel, and they uh, so basically they leave this. They go. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's to go by transport. So they. So yeah, uh, comrade Zaharov and Mr. Norris go from the station to the hotel. Posle oberta. Posle. I hate that I forget my vocabulary. Oh no, it's right here. Posle. Posle oberta. After dinner, lunch in the afternoon. Posle oberta oni. Nach night. Delavoy raskovor. Oni nach night. Begin. Nach night. Nach night. Delavoy. Business talk. Delavoy Razgovor. Kak Vizanayat Govorit Zahrav Unasvil. Oh, how do you say how do you say letters in Ru Russian? Say 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 pay? I don't remember. SSSR? SSSR, yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm spacing, okay. Stop making fun of me, Nate. No, I misread. I misread the last one. Yes, it's an R. Unas with SSSR. Stroyat. How you know? Ah. Yeah, as you know, Kakvi's night. That's what I thought. As you know. Unas the Yes, but how do you pronounce the letters? S S S R? Yeah. Unas V S S S R Swayat Uh Textilni Epki. Okay, so textile fab factory. Uh as you know. We have uh, the SSSR. This building, yeah, 
textile factory. Right. Uvasna Zavote, Uvasna Zavote, or Manchester, Uvipuska. Jeez. Uvasna Zavote in your factory in Manchester, Uvipus. Uvi Puskat machine and produce it's a really old book yeah but the grammar the grammar explanations are really good even if the conversations are really ridiculously old I don't think they knew about the internet back then <laughs> <laughs> it was published in 1970 Photoshop <laughs> text DVD machine you know I'm still streaming right yes Okay. Nate's laughing. But you know, the older older language books published back then seem to be more academic. At least. And better written, even though like even though some of the stuff they don't mention internet and stuff. Um so something about uh you produce good textile machines in your factory. And we Davna ich znayam. We davna znayam. We have known them for a long time. Yeah. We have known about them for a long time. Ani doga rabotia bes remonta. Remonta? What the hell is a remonta? Remont. Repairs? Overhaul? My god, these conversations seem really complicated. How is this colloquial Russian? Because it's colloquial, that's why it's complicated. Oh uh, no, colloquial means common. Yes. No, but these, seems like an, uh, these seem like advanced conversations They're to be had. They're normal everyday conversations, not basic beginner ones. It is complicated, yes. No. Mm. No. Okay. Colloquial means common conversations, which includes some basic stuff. Or oh, whatever. No, I lost my place, Nate. Why are you making fun of me? Ah, I need a dog. What's a dog? Robot. They work for a long time. Yes. Oh, without needing repairs. Ne. No. Vashi. Machinu. Shlishkom Dorogi Dla Nas You are especially too expensive. So So I think he's basically saying here none of your they're not too expensive for us, none of your uh Machine machines are too expensive for us. Yeah, Padamayavas. I understand you. No, we ne mojum prodavat e dojva? E dojva? Prodavat is like produce, right? Sal, sorry, sorry. I mean, Sal. Um, okay, yeah, I understand you, but we can't sell. Eat uh, them cheaply. Okay. Unas the. Oh no, wait. No. Oh no, sorry. They said your 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 machines are too expensive for us and the guys are playing. We can't sell them too cheaply. 
un aspect anglais Stoemos, 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 Cost, as we in Glee, Cost, E, Preuse, Botstva, Ochen, Vicos, Visokaya, Viskaya. Okay, to make things work up. Ugh. What is it? Unas Viongli. <laughs> it's like we have Ongli. Is that England? Mm -hmm. No. How do you say England in Russian? Mm -hmm. I mean, Angliski is English. Now Nate doesn't have anything to say. I can't see the word, so I'm not it's Angli. I'm pretty sure that's how you sp pronounce that one. Yeah, it's England. Mm -hmm. That's so. Yeah, Angli. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Unas Viongli. It's the genitive form. Um, yeah, the, the cost of the production is, he's saying the cost of production is high. Zaharov i Noris ask about the way chasa so they they sit they talk for like two hours This this word was in my vocabulary here somewhere. This is why books are a little hard sometimes, but I wanted to just get to the... Yeah, continue. Uh, the conversation two more hours. Mi horosho ponemayam. We understand each other. Druk druga. Druk druga is like understand each other. Uh, each other. Druk druga is each other. And where am I? Yeah, Panamat, Drukduka. Okay, we understand each other. Govori Zaharov, no Syotaki, Syotaki, all the same, but all the same. Dila is Zavisit, Temper Otvas. Dila Zavisit Otvas, the matter depends on you. But all the same. <coughs> no. On the contrary. No. But it. What's the Russian? It's is like. What's the Russian? What's the Russian? What's the Russian? I think I, th I think I said this might be painful, but also very necessary to get better. Force, force, recite, force. Okay, come on. Force. Rose. 
I'm blind, I don't see it. Oh, three. Jack. Oh, yeah, Jax. Okay. Um, Jax Norris. Yeah, cash it's a stuff so old bus. Okay, he says, on the contrary, uh, Jax. It seems to me that you ought to pass I feel like sometimes with the in this book though, when they put their words and phrases in their like vocabulary list, they're not in the right order. <laughs> ah, a lot of the books are all like that with the language books. They just don't seem to have their vocabulary in the right order. What's Zavis? Zavis? Ah. And people wonder why internet is so much better. <laughs> Nate, please, go, please. Go away and do whatever you need to do. I mean, distracting. I heard them. Thank you. <laughs> You're being distracting now. You're being distracting before. So if okay, you want to be distracting. If you want to be helpful. What's what's this mean? Oh, it's right that the matter depends on you. Uh, um, it seems to me that everything oh depends on you. He's just like, countering him. Vi prositi unas. Yeah, you uh, you are asking us for help. Unas omiji i ne možete. Doga stat. Doga to wait long. You're asking us for help. In but can't and can't wait long. What the hell? Da no we is a it. Show me Mosum Pocket Machini Net Toka Utas. I'm not going to understand this. Toka La Dragas Vajna de la Fortin Ochen Noyas. Okay, I'm just going to type this up. <laughs> um, da. No, we, Zabi, Vyat. Don't forget. Okay, yes, but you forget that we can buy. Oh, machines not only from you, I think, is what he's saying. Oh, 
Oh, trade. Trade from gives us trade gives us trade love us flesh need la. I'm not sure what this means here. It's like trade uh, and then blah. Oh, trade for us. Um, us. Tra oh, trade for you is important. Is Ote noyously vasne? But if you don't if what? no yes less no, yes, I fascinated. Ustravite, okay. But if you okay, doesn't suit you, I guess. Nashi, what was that? Bro? Oh, if, if our price doesn't suit you, so no yes leave us near Ustrayvayet, Ustrayvayet, Nashi Sena, To eto Konets, Razgovora, Ras Konets. Okay, then the conversation. Net, you shall net connect. Zafra me mojum prodigat nam razgavor at pier pora ot rest. Kaklinas govoriat utra chera mudremi. Uh, okay, so he says no. This so one guy says, "Okay, let's just end the conversation," and, and the, the other one says, "No." You should not connect. It's like it's not end yet. Zafra mi mojem prodajat prodajat is uh well not that word again. Protege I'll continue Nash Razgovar we can continue our conversation tomorrow at the pier for now Pora 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 um Pora Oh Yeah For now it's time to rest Ot Ot Vich Ot it's time to rest. Kakunas Goriat Utra Kakunas Goriat Utra Chera Utra Utra Chera Mudrene Morning of That's a Russian expression Utra Chera Mudrene Morning is wiser than evening. Let's sleep on it basically. Kakunas Goriat I know these words, I just don't understand in context what they mean. Kakuvas. As you say, Kakuvas Goriat, as you say. Okay. Okay, that was their dialogue. Yeah, I, I think I see why it says Razgavar uh, Besk conversation without end 
Okay, let's just skip over the words and phrases section. It was painful. Most importantly, I just wanted to get through that so I can get to the grammar part. <laughs> I'm not that concerned about like the vocabulary in this book, just the grammar. Um, grammar. Grammatica. Names. Between the first name... Oh, okay, maybe there's a little bit of culture notes here because it's actually important. Names, Russian names, between their first name, Imya, and their surname, Familia, Russians have a second name called the Ochestva, patronymic, which is formed from the father's name. If a man's first name ends in a consonant, then his son's patronymic ends in Ovich, Ovich and his daughter's in Ovna. So, for example, Ivanovich. Ivanovna. If the father's name ends in ends in uh, uh, it's that e with the the glide. Um, if the father's name ends in this, so like you'll have like Sergey and Alexei. So if their father's name ends in that, his son's patronymic ends in Evich. Uh, Ev Bitch. That's not you. That. So that's what they're saying here. And then I'll oh, just ignore the just ignore the translate. I'm using this just to type stuff. Um, and his daughter's name ends in Evna. So, for example, Alexeyevich Alexeyevna from Alexei. Some more patronymics are. From, from Peter, oh no, Peter, Piotr, P, Piotr, oh sorry, P-R, Piotr, so it's for Peter. How do you pronounce it? I said Piotr, Piotr. Okay, so from a patronymic from Piotr is Petrovich. I'm sure people have seen this before. Uh, pet. Uh, I can't type Russian right now. Pet. Typing Russian with one hand is a little challenging for me right now. But I'll get used to it. So Petrovich. So from P Piotr, you get Petrovich. Piotr Petrovich. Yeah, what she said. And from... And then, and Petrov, and then Petrovna, and you get uh, Pet. Oops, Petrovna. Petrovna. Pyotr Petrovich Petrovna. Okay, so and then you get from pa uh, Pavel. 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 From Pavlo, you get Pavlovich and Pav Pavlovna. From Mikhail, you get Mikhailovich and Mikhailovna. From Vasil Vasilin, Vas Vasilin, Vasily. Sorry, Vasily. You get Vasilovich and Vasilovna. Most Russian surnames have a special form. For the female members of the family, which ends in a. Ah. Zaharov, Zaharova, Zaharov, Zaharova, and Kozin, Kozina. Hi, I'm going to type those out so you guys can hear. So you guys can actually hear. Za. Zaharov, Zaharov, right? Zaharov turns into Zaharov. Oops, Zaharov and, and cousin. And turns into Zina. Yes. 
in case people were wondering about Russian news. I mean, actually, I should know this, so this is... Zaharov, Zaharov, Kozin, Kozina. So that's what happens to the last name for woman. <coughs> so, uh, what is this? Grammar. Yeah, that was names. Now, grammar number two. Grammar point number two. A, actually. Masculine animate accusative. Okay, this gets really interesting now. <laughs> the accusative case of masculine nouns denoting animate beings, men, boys, or animals, is the same as the genitive. Masculine nouns, women, animate beings, men, boys, or animals. Thus, eta tovarish, eta tovarish, kozin, ya strachaya tovarisha, kozina. Uh-huh. Eta ha Pavo i Piotr ja strechaya Pavla i Petra. So this is what they're saying with the genitive then. So I just want to look at this because I don't know what that means. Uh, Oh, okay. So the accusative of the personal pronoun is as follows. Okay, so personal pronouns nominative ya is minya. Uh, so the accusative minya. Ti, ti turns into tbia. On, yevo. Ona, yeo. Ono, yevo. Just like on. Basically, on and ono. On and ono, they get a uh, yevo for the accusative, and ana gets yeo for the accusative. Mui uh, turns into nas, and vui turns into vas, and oni turns into ich. Hmm. Okay, so the genitive of these pronouns is the same as. Okay, so to be. The genitive of these pronouns is the same as the accusative. Oh, okay. So, ves minya without me, ves vas without you. So, that's a genitive form, but it's also accusative. When used after a preposition, the personal pronouns yevo, him, yeo, her, ich, them, are prefixed by the letter oh, uh, ni. They're prefixed by the letter ni. So... <coughs> So, yivo, yeo, and i. So, the third person one, the prefix by n. So, <coughs> so yivo is accusative, right? And yeo is accusative, and e is accusative. But when used after preposition, they become nivo and ni. And neo. Uh, so, to say without him, you'd say best nivo, and without them, best ni. The genitive of to is gova, and of sto is cheva. Okay, I'm going to type that out for you guys. Uh, okay, do you? Yeah, I'm not typing the K, where's K? To? The generative form of that is kova. Oops. To kavo. Okay. Ignore the translations. Um, and the generative for sto. No, sto is chevo. Uh, sto chivo. Chivo. Um, the gun. Kova and Chivo is pronounced like V. G is always pronounced V in the genitive endings of pronouns and adjectives. Pronounce V in the genitive endings of pronouns and adjectives. The possessive pronouns Moi and Tvoi 
We're given in lesson two, R, R's in Russian is Nash for masculine, Nasha, Nash, Nasha for feminine, so Nash for masculine, Nasha, Nasha for feminine, um, Nashe, Nash, Nashe for neuter, and Nashi, plural. So I think you've seen this in the Ru Duolingo Russian course, right? Nash, and then Nasha, uh, and then Nashe for neuter. Let me just type this out. Nash, Nashe, and Nashi. Oops, it's not E. So, Nash, 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 Nash. So, Nash is masculine, feminine, neuter, and plural. Uh, your and yours corresponding to V is Vash, Vasha, Vasha, Vashi. His is evil for all three genders in the singular and plural. Her, hers is Yeyo for all three genders in the singla, singular and the plural. There and theirs is I for all three genders in the singular and the plural. When they mean his, her, their, these words are not prefixed by H. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay, because it's not pronouns. So the pronoun it gets the H prefix sometimes in the genitive. Sorry, not sometimes. The, the, the pronouns will get the H prefix in the genitive case, but not, not the adjective. So, so you would say bezivonervotka without his interpreter. But not you wouldn't say bez nivo blah 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 blah, blah for without his interpreter. Perevochka. More uses of the preposition. So okay, grammar note three, more uses of the preposition oo. The preposition oo with the genitive case may be used to convey the meaning of to have, as in the following examples. Uh oof. Tora Slovar. Victor has a dictionary. Literally, with at Victor, there is a dictionary. Um, minya, kniga, I have a book. Notice that in this construction, what was the object of the English sentence has become the subject in Russian, so that Slovar and kniga are in the nominative case. The negative form of this construction, however, uses niet plus the genitive to say, in effect, with Victor, there is no dictionary. With me, there is no book. U u Viktora net Slovaya. U minya net knigi. The preposition u is used also used like the French she and the German uh German uh by me I uh this is the same this German word. Nope, wrong thing. Uh B E I. Yeah. Sorry. That German word. Let me just put it here. Bye. So the negative form of this construction preposition u is also like the French she and the German by to mean with at the home of. So u Petra Peter's place u Tamari at Tamara's. And it is often met in such phrases as Umenya Komta in my room, Unas v Gostinitsa in our hotel. Hey, so you can see a little picture here. I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's a picture here with a caption. I don't know what it means, so let's see. Uh, uh, go the go right? Go right? Right? Oh, min, yeah, go right? Oh, min, yeah. Mm 
delete, delete, oh, so hard to type in one, delete, no, uh, delete, delete, music, okay, they say I have a lot, <laughs> Okay, that's the picture. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the picture. And there's a caption over there. Let's see. <laughs> uh, that's what it says. They say I have a long tongue. Okay, grammar rule. Grammar number four, note four here. Verbs. Note the present tense of the following verbs. Uh, much. Oh, okay, that is the infinitive then. M O C M O M O. Watch. Uh, to be able. So the present tense for this is Yamagu. Ti mojish. On mojit. We mojim. Vi mojite. Ani mogut. Yamagu. Ani mogut, 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 ani mogut. So the stress changes. Um, you say ya magu, ya. This, this the stress changes here only in the first person. So you say it's ya ya magu. The stress is on the second, but for all the others, the stress is on the o. So you get ti mojesh, on mojet, we mojem, we mojete. Oni mogut. Okay, so next verb. Yet to be going. Now I'll type this up. Uh, That's the verb. Now they conjugate this by saying, okay, so now we get. Oh, no stress change. So you say, yet you do. Yeah, let's see. Yehit. Yehit. And so, ya, you do. Ti, you do. Ye dish. On you did. We dim. We ye dim. We ye did. Te on you did. Okay, I will type these out actually. Make sure I got it right. Um, you do. And then, T. Yeah. It. Oh. Mm, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Did. Did. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Dish. On it. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Did. And two more. Did you did say, and the last one, you did. <coughs> yeah, did. That's your conjugation for this verb. Ехать еду, едешь, едет, едем, едете, едут. And there you go. And next verb. Zavisit. Zavisit. Zavisit to depend. Why are they giving me these verbs? It's a, such an unusual verb. Um, so, za, za, be, set. No, backwards. Yeah, za, be, set. Means to depend. Zavisit. 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 To depend. Ya zavizu, ti zavish, ti zavish, visish. So in this verb, you'll notice that for ya, for for the conjugation for ya, it's ya zavizu. This changes to a sh, sh, zavishu. Sorry, not zh, sh, zavishu, zavishu, ti. Savisish 
on savi sit we savisum we safiste on savisiat okay lubit to love ah, that's my favorite one lubit to love uh, the conjugation is ya yeah, lublu uh, stresses on the for that one the stress is at the end the last syllable ya yeah, lublu but the rest the stress is on the first so ti lubish on lubit mui lubit vi lubit on lubiat second conjugation verbs like the above which have a stem ending in b v n p f insert insert l before u in the first person singular so that explains why it's um lubit turns into lublu and it's not lubu you know, you don't say like okay i'll type this one out lu lubit lu beat changes to lu Lu, they have they have to insert this L. It wouldn't be lubu. But it just that just actually sounds weird and awkward. Actually, I think. Oh, where's my L? There you go. <laughs> and proceed to ask for to request. Ya uh, prosu. T prosish prosish prosish. T prosish. Ah, I'm having trouble now. On prosit, mui prosim, li prosite, oni prosiat. And the next verb, stat, jdat, 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 jdat. That one means to wait. Jdat. Jdat. Uh, to wait, uh, to wait or to wait for, you say ya shdu ti shdosh on shdot mi shdom vi shdote on mi shdut. <laughs> so they have a note here prosit and shdat may take an object in either the accusative or the genitive. The object will be in the accusative it, if it is a definite thing or person, but in the genitive if it is abstract or not specific. Okay. That's a nice little exception to remember. First you get used to it. So you want to say to ask for if you want to ask for a person then you use the accusative for the object so if I want to ask for a person or a book then then the person or book those nouns will be in the accusative case but if I want to ask for if I want to ask for attention something that's abstract or not specific it has been a genitive case and the same with to wait for so somebody could be waiting for a miracle and the miracle miracle would be in genitive case but if you're waiting for a person uh, or a bus it's an accusative okay last grammar note hey we'll be done this lesson and we'll be on the next lesson <laughs> This is amusing me, actually. Ah, um, um, yet, in March, um, yet, um, yet means to be able, but also, ah, that's actually interesting. And March, yeah, they both mean to be able, but um, yet. It means to know how to do something, and much means to be able to do something. And that actually reminds me of uh, Chinese, Thai, Chinese, Cantonese, whatever. There's different uh, words to say that you know how to do something, and versus you're able to do something. So umyet means to know how to, to be able in that sense, and much means. 
to be able in the sense of to be physically capable or to have the opportunity. So, умеет мочь. Okay. Uh, so I guess you would say you would use умеет if you want to say I know how to read Russian, right? But you wouldn't use мочь. It's not like you physically are capable. I mean, I guess you could if you're blind, and then all of a sudden you can read Russian. <laughs> Um, uh, so the examples they give you is I cannot read because I've never learned so uh, basically I can't read I don't know how to read I'm not able to read because I okay and I cannot read because it is too dark or I am tired so that's your two examples. Okay, so that is uh, lesson five. Urok, urok, piatsi in this colloquial Russian book. I am actually skipping the exercises in this book. Uh, uh, it's painful, especially since they actually don't have answers in this book for that. I think they uh, probably expected you to uh, use this with like a tutor or teacher or something, but I'm just going to use it to read the uh, the text. I'm just using it to read the text, uh, dialogue and story, or whatever, dialogue, short prose stories or whatever, and then going through the grammar. Uh, thought I'd try that, because then I can practice reading my Russian and see how much I actually know. It's a little painful sometimes, because I forget the Russian words. I really should probably do some Anki, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so the next one I'm going to be on lesson six. I'm not sure if I'll stream that or not. Maybe just read it to myself. We'll see. I mean, if people really like this, then I'll read the Russian grammar book out for people. But it's kind of painful because it's you can't see what I'm reading, I guess, and I can't. And then I have to put the book down to type in some of the stuff for you to read. I guess I could try to type up some notes for you. Um, Okay, so that's it, I think, for now. I'll take, maybe I'll take a break. And, uh... Oops, wrong thing. <coughs> yeah, I think I might take a break. I don't know. I think I need to take a break now, so... So, we did some, um, Arabic. We did two lessons of Arabic. Two lessons of Arabic and I think a review. Should I do one more review? Let's do one more review of Arabic because I think it might level that one up. Rood. Wa. 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 Z. 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 Wa. 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 Rood. Z. There, there's the Z. 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 So the R and the Z look similar in Arabic. Z. Z. Wa. Oh, no, it's this one. Oui. She says this is wheat. That's wrong. Whatever. Z. 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 This one. Z. This one's R. No, actually, that one's. This is Z. 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 That one is. That's a. Ooh. Ooh. Next. Za. Za. Zar. 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 This one. We. We. Za. Za. Actually, sorry, not the long one. Za. Okay, match the pairs. 
Oui. Rao. Oui. Ouais. Wow. Ouais. Ray. This one. This is the side. Wait. Uh, that's this one. Whoa. And this is this one. We. Oui. This one is that. Yeah. What? Okay. Next. Zar. Zar. Rude. <coughs> Zar. Okay. Yeah, so it maxed out that one for me. But wait, why is it? So did it just strengthen it and go to the next level then? How does that work? How does it not go to the next level when you strengthen it? Ninety six percent complete, seriously. So ninety six and it's going on to that one. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, wait. Just curious, what happens when I do the next one then? Zoo. Zoo. Well the reason I'm asking is because you know Duolingo changes um the way it works every so often. They change various minor things here and there, so I'm like, okay, so what happens if I do the next one? Does it strengthen it and give me level three or not? Buzz. Buzz, buzz, thoub, 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 the, 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 k, k. Yeah. Okay. There's the k sound. K. The, thou, thou, buzz, that. Beige. 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 Buzz. 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 The. 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 Bez, 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 bez. It is, um. Bez. 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 Bez, bez. Um. <coughs> this one's cool. Cool. And this one is. Kev. 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 And this one is Jed. Jed. Ka. Ja. No, that's a Ja. Wait, where? Oh, it's this one. Ka. Ka. Okay. Da. The. Ah, uh, the. It's this one. The. <coughs> oh, no. That's a ooh. Sorry, D is this one. They. What? They. Oh, there's an. Can I? Oh, I can't zoom in right now. What the hell's. Zoom in. <laughs> I think I'm having trouble because I can't see what I'm looking at. Um. <coughs> This one should be the okay. This one's the the yeah. This one has the a on it. They they and this one also has an a on it. 
Oh, it's this one. The win. The win. The. The. And then there's that. Okay. And then next. Continue. Select the correct characters for the. The. <coughs> the. <coughs> The so the um so this lot this curve with the dot on it is the the sound and the line above makes the a short a sound but this one makes that oo sound which is that dub and this is the b sound so it's this the one. web dub George and Rahed George uh it's probably this one. George. Wa. Wa. Rawad. 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 Ra. Ra. No, it's not it. Ra. Bob. No. Kerry. Judy. Warawad. Raw. Rawad. <coughs> okay. Okay. Next. Jad. 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 Judy wa George. Judy wa George. Judy. 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 Wa. George. Judy wa George. No, actually. Wa George. <coughs> Next. Judy wa George. Judy and Judy. George. Judy wa George. Okay. okay, so let's see what happens. Continue. No, it just, it doesn't bring you up to the next level. That's just really mean. Really? Seriously? So what? Do I have to do one lesson? Okay, let's see what happens now. Hold on. Start. Zoo. Zoo. E. Yeah. Z. 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 Try to remember how to write the Z. <coughs> Type that A. What? I forgot how to type that A. <coughs> okay, never mind. D. Zoo. Z. Z. Okay, <coughs> so Z, that's Z. 
D. Oh, D. D. I really wish they would show us how it's written. <coughs> D. Z. 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 Let's see what happens. Okay, now it's on the with me. Okay. Oh, I see how that worked. Okay, well. Okay, I think I'm done for now. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with another Duolingo lesson. I think I'm going to do a little bit of Arabic. Keep continuing with the Arabic. I might try to finish off the Arabic course, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go back to the Russian first. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 15, 15, 15 skills in the Arabic course. So, um, so that was quite a bit. Um, did something a little different with the Russian. I was just reading my Russian book called Pale Russian. Um, I guess there's other things I could do for learning Russian. I also have the, uh, I also have uh, Mango Languages, which is loading for some reason, and and I also have this one. I also have the Monthly Russian as well that I haven't finished because I haven't gone past the Spanish. <coughs> so um, yeah, okay. So that's it for now. And I will be back tomorrow for another Duolingo lessons. Ooh. I don't know how to, I forget how to say bye in uh, Arabic. And there's a bug on my screen. So I will just say see you later, see you soon. Uh, and in Dutch we say fana avond, uh, have a nice evening. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow for another Duolingo lesson.